Welcome along to Teams Day, everybody. Uh, the teams have been named, including our one New Zealand Warriors. And we've got the full lineup here tonight. We've got uh, Jerry Cronin, Isaac Soss, Moneta Soss, Daniel Farakura, and also on the bench as well, next to Isaac is Hingu Don. Also uh, joining him, <laughs> joining him on the bench. Come here, bro. He's a heavy boy. Yeah, hey man. Prince Miles, everyone. Hey, <laughs> just, just joining the fun as we get ready to run through the teams, which is going to be, uh, yeah, interesting, fellas. Very interesting indeed. All right, here we go. And to be good sports, here are the Grub Coast Titans. Back in X. Get out of here. That was a bit long for them. And the Warriors line up. Number one, Mr. Flick Pass from last week. Added something to his game, didn't he? Ooh, they look good. Uh, now, a couple of changes coming up. Uh, on the right wing, we've got the Cossy of Living. He's, uh, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> Big Ed. Talk about inflation. And joining him is, uh, is, is, he's playing fullback. That's exactly what Webby said uh, to the journos today. Uh, just having a bit of a laugh with them and I'm gonna maybe just hold him to it, that'd be nice. Uh, he tricked a few people. Uh, on the other side, of course, the POMP is there. A few, uh, yeah, a few defensive kind of issues last week, shall we say? I thought he tore his penis because he uh, came <laughs> sliding on his knees and. But uh, maybe not. <laughs> Top side him is uh, Marcelo Sindingo Montoya. <laughs> Prime for a bounce back, I'm sure. Uh, Daniel Sun is at uh, number six. Daniel Sun. Uh, I throw, get back to throwing some forward passes and getting away with it this week. That'd be nice. <laughs> uh, joining him is, of course, number seven, the new guy. Just a bit of an apprenticeship for uh, <laughs> for the young fella. We'll see how he goes. Week one was, you know, eh, need a little bit of salt, shall we say? Yeah. Up Fine. front, we got the uh, the big boy, the beast, Adam. Ready to rumble. Ready to give it to the old uh, the Goldies. Uh, and joining him in the front row is. The Magneto Man. Drawing the defenders, uh, getting hit in the face, um, having defenders sit in the bloody play of the ball. I don't know. We'll see what happens this week. <laughs> uh, number 10 is Jackson Middle Ford. I think he's looking quite good in, the, uh, mm. in that area. Just kind of scurries around and um, does a lot of things, which is good. Uh, on the edge. Ooh. Oi. Things no worries. Hakuna Marata. Um, yeah, looking good. That's going to be a heck of a clash. Him and the uh, the big boy, Fifita. Um, also, onto the edge this week is the, uh, the G.O.D. The glutes are moving out wider. Or actually, not as wide as they were last week. You ended up at centre at one point. So. Oh, God. Great. Great the glutes. Put them wide. Put them wide. What the glutes. Open <laughs> wide. <laughs> Big Fresh is uh, number 13. Didn't look as fresh last week. So, um, yeah. Anyways, that's mm -hmm. right. Uh, onto the bench, of course. That's the sweet scent of Chanel, number 14. Uh, joining him is number 15. He's back. The Muss. Jake, the Muss is back to, I don't know, thump some people. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Big boy. Give it to them. Always no speed. That's all right. Uh, joining him, number 16, is uh, Swear Jar Jazz. I said it properly this week. <laughs> right. It's Sweet been about jar. three weeks trying to get that right. Um, so... Get out of here, Brent. Uh, number 17, over to you, Isaac. Hey, Mosquito Male. Beautifully done. I've got another one from though. I've got a new name from. Ooh, okay. Speaking of new names, take me home, the 18th man. Bunty Road. <laughs> <laughs> take me home, Bunty Road. <laughs> uh, to my place I belong. There we go, boys. Uh, that is, uh, that's the team. That's the team. This is the principal. Put them on the ground. Good boy, my word. That's a workout. Uh, fellas, what's the uh, the first impressions of uh, the Warriors side? First of all, a couple of changes. We'll go out wide, Moneta. Uh, Ed, the Cossy of Living, is, uh, is out there with Roger. <laughs> I'd like um, to hear your thing first, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one sound comes to mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. I'll throw it back to you. Oh, good to see RTS back in the centres, but I'll throw it back to you. Yeah, a little bit worried about Ed. Um, I'm a bit worried about him on most 
times, but um, especially looking at the uh, the Gold Coast backline, they've got some they got some speed and strike, and they can turn really fast. And I'm not sure if Ed is is particularly well suited to that, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I suppose so. this is a great opportunity for him. Some could say last chance. So in honour of '90s uh, films we're talking about, he has to be a little bit desperado. Oh, <laughs> he's going to make himself a hard target. <laughs> You know, I guess he has to make a double impact. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. he's currently under siege. So this is absolute quality. He's going to have to be a hard target. Yes. <laughs> he doesn't want to make this a blood sport. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, boys, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's have a look at the halves. Isaac, we'll go to you, bro, our, uh, our resident half um, expert, shall we say. Um, what are you thinking of the, uh, the, the six and seven that is lining up this week, and how are we going to get on? Um, <laughs> you, you wouldn't want it any other way, really, with uh, the halves that we've got. Um, hopefully, they've had a bit more time under their belt to build the combination. I'm sure it'll be a lot better than it was last week. I'm sure they would have figured out the communication issues they had, or um, you know, uh, the issues of who's doing what at what time. They just need a. I think if those two are going to be on the field, they kind of almost just have to play like, I don't want to say park footy, but they're just going to play heads up, um, play what's in front of them. I think maybe too much structure with both of them on the field mm. is probably not the way to go. Um, but I, I think in my opinion, SJ is going to take a little bit more of a um, controlling role around the park, but then they can sort of open it up for, um, you know, double impact. Mm. Actually works well. Um, you're reminding me of when Miyagi said to Daniel son, "Too many mind, too many mind." Just uh, <laughs> wasn't that from Last Samurai? Yeah, it was Last Samurai. Yeah, was it? Too many yeah. mind. Too many oh, mind. Last Samurai. <laughs> yeah, it was Last Samurai. <laughs> Miyagi. Yeah. Miyagi said, "Wax on." Yeah. <laughs> too many mind. Wax Boards home. don't hit back. But uh, I just want to add to that. I still remember the point that uh, Daniel made, and I think it was a really valid point that. Um, that well, SJ and um, Tamaru are very similar in regards to how they play, and it's almost like having two people who are naturally wanting to take control, but trying to be that number six, I guess whoever it is, and so having someone like CH2 or Metcalf who they're more running, I, I did like I did quite like that point, and that's why hopefully maybe that's, in the past it's been quite difficult, but hopefully they can fix it. But that, I just thought it was a good point what uh, yeah. Daniel made. That's last, what last week yeah. felt like. Last week, yeah. last week felt like we had two sixes and no seven. That's yeah. what it felt like, yeah. you know. Yeah. So we need yeah. to have yeah. not two sevens, not two sixes. We need. Yeah. Just... Oh, you, you go, bro. No, no, you go, bro. Yeah, yeah. it was like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 it felt like that. Okay. It's all no, yours. I don't want. I don't want to take oh, away from your shine last three games, so I let you do it. And then, oh no, here's your turn, bro. It's too friendly. So maybe like someone's gonna be like. Have a clear role on who's going to be support and who's going to be good. But uh, yeah, that point from then on Tuesday, no Sunday was really. Mm. You know, I thought yeah. we, need a, we need a pitcher and a catcher, basically. Mm. All right. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Daniel, you uh, you mentioned on the podcast, uh, you know, maybe a sneaky move to have a look at maybe putting Chance up in the centre spot and bringing in Tuopi, which is still on the cards. It hasn't been named. But we know that you know the, the 24-hour cut down can you know, get a little bit funky. So, uh, Tane's named in the reserves. Um, but bro, what's 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 your thinking around uh, around that area and possibility of, of doing that? I mean, the the reason the rationale for doing that is uh, first of all is is getting your best players on the field at the same time, uh, you know, best available players on the field at the same time, and um, just thinking about. The performance that Tain had in the, what was a man of the match performance against the Premiers uh, a matter of weeks ago, um, and perhaps rewarding him with his form. Um, I think also we might have lacked a little bit of that kind of um, dynamic spark, someone like Tuopiki can and bring as well. So I just thought with, with Chance's ability to play everywhere and, um, and still be effective as well, that it could have been a great opportunity. Insane if they don't go that way, and then the other part is around uh, less disruptions. You know, if you're moving, you know, you'd have to move, say, Rog to the wing, and you have to move Chance into centre. So there's a bunch of other stuff going on. So, uh, look, I'm, I'm 
and with we trust we back him as well but we also know that you know he's happy to make late changes as well and I wouldn't be surprised if he did sneak him into the 17 somehow mm, it's going to be interesting I think there'll be probably uh, a few a few eyeballs uh, waiting on the uh, the 24 hour cut down it's always uh, it's always an event especially when your team's a little bit um, you know a little bit chop and changey but um, Isaac uh, the bench, bro. What's your um, what's your thoughts on our on our bench this week? Uh, no, it's not as impactful as last week's, but that's going to happen when you've got two players in Origin. Congratulations, Kurt Capewell. Didn't see that one coming, but he's not going to let um, Queensland down. Um, yeah, I mean, I think they're just working with what they've got in terms of the bench. Uh, I think last time Tom Harley played, though, he played pretty good, if memory serves me correctly. So. That's a bit of a bright spot. Give him another another chance as well. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how they rotate that bench throughout the course of the game and how many minutes. I don't think it's going to be spread out as nicely as it has been in the past few games. Um, I would assume Laban and Ale probably wouldn't get too many minutes. Maybe one of the two. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Hmm. Yeah, he's. Uh, I don't even think we've. Might not have even seen Jacob Laban since the last time we played the Gold Coast. So, um, mm. um, in the top team, but um, just knocking things over. Um, Moneta, bro, um, what's your uh, what's your thoughts around a getting a bit of you know fine weather on the Gold Coast and b uh, what maybe Wade Egan will be able to do uh, with such conditions? Oh, we all know when it comes to wet weather, um, our chances of winning. I don't know why it tends to decrease. Um, so, and we, we do look way better on a dry pitch. So, I think Egan will take full opportunity of that. And obviously, he'll be able to zip out of the out of the ruck a bit quicker. And hopefully, there'll be a bit more support play with him in regards to making that run. Because I did notice when he did zip out, um, he did lack a bit of uh, support. So, mm. I think they'll rectify play this week. And obviously, for dry pitch, we seem to play better. So, I think mm. we'll see a, a, a vast improvement in that space. And the halves will probably have a little bit more of an idea right. where, they, where they're going to be, and, and that'll help. Um, well, actually, a uh, question for anyone. Um, what is the story with uh, the State of Origin selections? Like, if Barnett is 18th man, does that rule him out automatically? Of No. no he, 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 he has to, actually. He has to play. He, I think he can't play um, for his club side now if he's 18th. If he was 19, he yeah, eight, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Eighteen this day, eighteen is excavation, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he can't play. So there's a big issue with yeah. Yeah. Burden, eh? yeah, being right. part of that. Yeah. Okay, all right, all good. Um, but uh, where do we uh, where do we take these bloody these grubs? Well, put it this way: if you can't beat this fucking team on Saturday, <laughs> you don't deserve to be in the eight. But it's brutal. Yep. Fair um, you know, the the calibre of cattle we played last weekend was, you know, the storm, they're on top of the table. Um, we competed well, we didn't we didn't quite, the bounce of the ball didn't go away and we got outsmarted in a few things too. Um, but we did enough, I think, to compete with the, with the top side. Um, the count of the performance they had against the Tigers, I mean, the Tigers were desperate, right? desperate. But, I mean, this is the NRL, there's, you know, there's every chance that they turn up like they did against us at uh, Anzac Round and get the chocolate spot. Yeah, the, I, if I was BB, there would be some stern words, especially to some of the more senior players that missed that little run as well to say, hey, guys, look what happened a few weeks ago. Uh, you need to put, pull your finger out. So um, I'm expecting more space for the pass, a better, better game, obviously, all around. All around. Um, won't have it all our way, but we should be, you know, should have too much class. It should be 12 points better than this Titans team. Ooh, okay, I like that. Isaac, now, bro, uh, the last time we played the Titans, uh, your Sostradamus, um, you know, premonition came true. You wondered if they were going to, um, you know, just take us down and shock us. Uh, last week, you maybe, yeah. Uh, I think got it wrong. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe not as accurate. I thought we were going on the, on that track. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, so here's a chance. Here's a chance, bro. Like uh, here's a chance for you to bounce back, bro. What are you, what are you thinking this time against the uh, the teams? Honestly, honestly, I reckon it's going to be a tough one. <laughs> I, I I don't know why. And we're playing. They're playing at their home patch. Um, I think RTS and Ed Cossey are going to get a lot of traffic down their side of the field. 
because uh, RTS, let's face it, he's not fully familiar with the centre role as yet. And Kossi is, yeah, he's probably a bit down on confidence and he's just not where he, I don't think he, he's where he needs to be. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if they send a lot of their speed merchants down that side. And mm. the Fafita effect, I don't know why, but we have a hard time containing Fafita as well. Um, and he seems to have a lot of space and does a lot of damage against us. So I'm, I'm quite worried about this game. We can only afford to really lose three, uh, four at most games in the, in the run up to the, uh, the finals. Um, and I feel like this one could be another banana skin. If, yeah, if we played the same way that we did against Melbourne, do you think we might beat lesser teams? But for some reason, I'm feeling like if they play that way again, we're in a lot of trouble. Mm. Okay. Uh, Just with the for Fita, Fita is obviously he had a big game against us last time, but the last time we played over there, there was a little, yeah, there was a little uh, alpha alpha uh, action mm. as well on Marata's back. So I'll be looking for Marata to, to kind of yeah, put a yeah. bit of a, a blunt stop to his his form. Yeah, we need that. Yeah, we need yeah. someone to be on assignment to just negate his time to you know get a bit of a runway to build up some speed because uh, he can do it. In the blink of an eye, for Fida. I was low key, low key hoping he would have been selected for Origin, given. Yeah, me too. Me too. Given the scenario, but. <laughs> yeah, that would have been nice. Uh, all right, Moneta, before we go, bro, what's your. Uh, give us a result and scoreline prediction. I'm probably going to go along with uh, what Isaac said, so I think it's going to be close match 18 12. 18 12. To us? Yeah, yeah, to us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought it was obvious. Oh, I'm playing anyways. 18 12. Nothing yeah, obvious in this team, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 18 12. I'm always going. All right. Okay, boys. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. Jerry Cronin, Isaac Sauce, Moni the Sauce, and Danny Fakoda. This has been Teams Day. Warriors Ooh. getting ready to take on the Gold Coast Titans. Bring on Saturday already. It's kind of. Actually, this week feels a lot quicker already than, than last week. Last week felt like an age to get to the game. So, uh, so hopefully this one comes around a bit quicker and hopefully you get two points. Up the waz. Go the warriors and up the waz. Whatever anyone else wants to edit. <laughs>